Principal Jackie Dempson. Oh, God. Now, Big Sean, cut the fuckery, bro. Listen, we're going to have to investigate your ass, my nigga. we probably going to have to hit up, like, one of these child protective services because... Yo, what's up with these women you're even choosing a date, man? Like, I seen Ariana Grande, and now, like, well, I know you're not dating Janae Aiko. You're just doing an album with her. But what's up with you and these string-bean-looking, anorexic, frail-motherfucking-looking chicks? I'm just not into it. Now, if you guys don't know, pretty much uh, Big Sean's about to do a EP with Janae Aiko. Okay, they've announced it. It's going to be called... 2088, okay, or maybe it's just 28, but it, it says 20, then the uh, digits 88. Now, it's supposed to be coming out on April 1st, and I'm assuming that it's not going to be an April Fool's jokes if it doesn't come out, but it's supposed to be coming out then. Uh, we saw recently Big Sean, he dropped a song called Get My Shit Together, and a Twitter account called 2088 popped up tonight and basically sent out a couple of videos which featured Big Sean and Janae Aiko, okay? Now, Here's the thing, they're on the same label. It kind of makes sense. It makes sense for them to come together and do this. I mean, listen, for Big Sean, I think Big Sean, in a lot of people's minds, like, he could rap. I mean, when I think about Big Sean, even though you might think some of the shit he says is dumb, I think he could rap. But I think um, sometimes it takes either a producer or a collab to kind of take the uh, edge off him to make him more likely to appeal to a mass audience, okay? And we saw it with, like, producers he's worked with in the past. Whenever he did have a big record, we saw either the collabs or the producer kind of brought it out of him. So I'm hoping uh, Janae Aiko could do the same for him. Um, to be honest, man, I think it's something that's really just strategic as far as Def Jam, who they got both artists under their wing, so they're saying, let's just try this shit. Now, in reality, man, I, I think it's going to be a bunch of whack records. I'm just keeping 100%, which is going to be a bunch of whack-ass records, man. A bunch of bubblegum shit. I mean, simp music, if you like Janae Aiko and you're into that, like, uh, you don't love me type of shit, you'll probably love this shit. I don't want to hear this bullshit. I'm being honest with y'all, man. I don't want to hear this nonsense, man. Like, to be honest, I like what Big Sean does. I like when Big Sean is a little bit hard on thoughts. But he's going to get with Janae Aiko. He's probably going to be like a poor man's Drake or some shit like that. And, um... I ain't too excited for it, but I see why it's necessary for his career. So while I might not like it, or while I will know that it's not for me, I do know it's going to be good for his career. What about her? I think it's also a good look for her. So even though I personally don't really care for it, I think this is a very good move. Okay? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. Will you be checking this shit out? Or will you just be like hitting a Steph Curry in the recycle bin? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe.